Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crafty Challenge. I'm Tyrona, and I hope everyone is having an amazing day. On this episode of the Crafty Challenge, I will be showing you how to create notepads using Canva. Now, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the link below to subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the Crafty family. To everyone that has already subscribed, thank you for joining the family. Okay, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with a eight and a half by 11 sheet. And I'd like to go through and I add lines. So we're gonna go to elements. I add lines to mine. You can do yours whatever way you want, but this allows me to be able to make sure that my um, my sections are evened out. So I'm just gonna add a few more of these. All right, and then what I do is I highlight these, I position them to be vertical. All right, and then we're gonna add a center line just so we can make sure that it's even and then I go down and add uh, my cross lines. And I go back in and I delete that out. So what we're going to do is I like to add borders to mine. So we're going to go into the borders. Let's see, we're going to find a border that we actually like. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm going to use this one. Okay, I'm just going to shrink this down to be able to fit in this area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this so that way I can see the section better. Okay. And I always just want to make sure that my areas are lined up and centered. So that looks about right. Uh, probably can come down a little bit more to make that even. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my uploads and pull out an image and I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm going to shrink her to fit in my area. And you can do this whatever way you like make her as little or as tall as you want okay and I'm going to change the color of this to match um, her color scheme that she has going on with her clothing so I changed that to purple all right and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy actually I'm going to go ahead and put a little text on here as well and you can find different text here or you can go back to um, go back to more and it's actually not here now oh sorry styles you're gonna go to styles and you can go to fonts or you can go to colors and it'll give you the colors that you want that matches together or you can click font and you can go with some of the fonts that they have matched together and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and I'm going to group them I'm going to group this one I think because I might keep both of these I'm not quite sure but I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down to fit in my section I almost forgot and I normally just come up with something just to put in there okay change that up as well now I'll leave 
that back to black or a dark purple. Just pick a fool around with it, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Okay. So I want to leave that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it, duplicate it, and I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'll bring this down as well. And you just want to make sure that it's even within your section. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that it's even. Um, all right. And so for over here, I like to utilize my pages so that way I get more out of my page. So I'm going to divide this in half as well. And I'm going to make a notepad, a bigger notepad with this one. So again, I'm going to copy duplicate that and I'm going to sit this over here to be even all right I'm going to stretch this down and you can do whatever you want I'm going to make her bigger Bring her down. Okay, we're going to change this up. So we're going to ungroup this. And you can change her up, change her in the positions. You don't have to have her in the same spot. You can move her around, do whatever you want to do with it. I want to put her over on this side and then I want to flip her. Position that there. And I think I like that. So what I want to do is I want to copy all of this. I'm going to duplicate it. And I want to bring it down here. Okay. I think that's about even. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this back down. And as you see, we have three here, three small um, notepads here, and then we have two larger ones on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and print these out and I'll be right back with you. I wanna print out probably about 40, 40 sheets and I'll be right back with you. All right, so now that my images have finished um, printing. I want to take my chipboard and my images and I'm going to cut them. I'm trying to do this one, one with one hand. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to take my chipboard and put it behind so that way it comes out even. All right, and then I'm going to put it in my cutter. Okay, so four and a quarter. So that way it comes out correct. Let's 
see. You know, my cutter sometimes doesn't like to cut even, which I hate. So I normally try to go get my paper cut before um, I actually work on them. But anyways, okay. So I put them in here so that way they come out even when I cut. I don't like dents that sometimes comes in the paper when you clamp it. So I normally use my cardboard to... Um, keep it from cutting all right I'm trying to give you all the ins and the outs of everything my step-by-step -step for everything that I'm doing okay I'm going to clamp it and then I'm going to That's that one. All right, so now I have all of my things cut out. As you can see, they're all cut out. So because I do a number of these at a time, I normally um, have to, I do them a different way. I don't use clamps. I do them a different way. All right, so when I do mine, these are the things that I use in order to, um, bind my books or my notepads all right all right so i clamp them as you can see i clamp them like this so that way they're stuck in between okay so i also use glue but i water down my glue so that way it goes on better now I do do two um, of these and I just brush mine on. All right, so once you've gotten it to dry, and I use, as you can see, I used a fan to dry um, the glue. Again, trying to do this with one hand. All right, so what you want to do is once you take it out of the grip, it's going to be stuck together. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go through and you can either rip them apart as such. You can just scrape that stuff off or take an um, X-Acto knife and remove that. But this is what you wind up with afterwards. And just go ahead and rip it off. And there you go. Well, that wraps up this episode of the Crafty Challenge. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, have a blessed time.